the most popular uh, spectacle, you can't even see it over here, is the new Aptera. Wait, you're not driving a Tesla? Uh, don't look. Oh, yeah, man. No, we're, we're, we're okay with everything. I don't know. Is this the first time Kyle's ever been in the back seat of a car? Yeah, I, I try out every back seat. <laughs> wow. Hey, this looks like the GV60. What is going on there? Is that the Macan look like the GV60, which it doesn't. And now you say this looks like the GV60. <laughs> that, no, I'm saying this, 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 the, screen? the, the screen. whole screen looks okay. like a curved GV60. Well, we can't figure out how to get in. We are? Yeah, we're going this way. All right. A lot of steps. All right, so welcome to another episode of Out of Spec Dave where I find myself here in San Diego at the fully charged electric vehicle show. And I thought what I would do is maybe take you on a little tour of what's going on here. It's really fun. Um, everybody's into electric vehicles here and there's all different types of vehicles. We've got cars, we've got bicycles, we've got charging companies. Uh, we see the Electric Electrify America right over here. Um, pretty amazing. Uh, there's been speeches, there's been conferences uh, all day long, a uh, huge agenda. Um, downtown San Diego at the Convention Center. So why don't you take a little tour with me and uh, check out the fully charged electric vehicle conference here in San Diego, California. So here we've got the canoe prototype. Pretty cool. So without a doubt, the most popular event that I'm, or the most popular uh, spectacle, you can't even see it over here, is the new Aptera. And uh, I'll throw some pictures in here while I'm speaking, but pretty amazing car. A lot of, uh, I guess they just did a debut this morning with Sandy Monroe, and a pretty amazing car. I have to learn a little bit about it, but I'll show some pictures of that. That, without a doubt, is, in my opinion, the most popular thing here at the show. And so we've got some, some classic cars over here. Some of you may have seen my my, uh, when I was over at Red Rocks in Colorado a few weeks ago, this car was over there as well. This is a, uh, I believe a 911 or a 912 with the most amazing interior on this car. Um, I love it. I knew it was this car when I saw it because I, you never forget a, a cor red corduroy material car just like that one there. But uh, very cool car. There's just so much going on here. You know, it's, it's un unbelievable as, uh, as I'm walking by. We got Lacey here, Miss Go Electric filming. I don't know what she's doing. It's good to see her with her own booth. Uh, and a lot of familiar cars, some I've seen before, some I haven't. One that I haven't seen before is the Fisker Ocean, which is something that I'm very excited to check out. Really first time I've ever seen one in person. And I can tell you that from the looks of it, I, I kind of like that. That's that's a nice looking car. Let's go ahead and take a little bit closer look at it. So the Fisker Ocean. Look at this thing. I know this is a prototype, but if this is, I like the lighting that's on there, the way it lights up there. It says Ocean. Look at the badging on there. Beautiful. Clearly a, a nice looking design with beautiful matte colored paint right there. I'm liking that. Uh, I like the black offset with the, with the panel black roof. Looking really good. Uh, let's take a look at the rear end of this thing. Beautiful. Yeah. I'm liking this car. Take a peek inside. Yeah, I like this. This is looking good. 
Very interesting. You know, this is actually the second time I've seen a Rivian in this blue color. And I will say the first time I saw it, I did not like it. But it's kind of growing on me. I like this blue. I think it looks nice, especially with the yellow brake calipers. Got the off-road tires. I like the, the, the lettering there with the yellow outline. And uh, with the black interior, it's looking pretty sweet. Now, I've driven this car. Not this exact one, of course. But uh, I've driven Kyle's Rivian. And it is uh, it drives great. Fast as heck. It's got over 800 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 3.x seconds. But that's not the whole picture here. This is a utility vehicle. It's a hauler. It does it all. Rivian's doing a great job. They're bringing a, a great product out to market. Very well received here at the show. And I don't believe that Rivian is actually here. I think this is maybe a customer's car, but very cool that at least we have one here to, to check out. So the Arkhamoto, uh, made out in Eugene, Oregon. They've got two flavors of these here. One, they've got the Deliberator, which is a single seat uh, with, with a, uh, you can actually deliver pizzas or, I know when I was down in Key West, I was able to drive one of these one day and they had the, the Wal Wall Burgers delivery van. And it was an Arkhamoto down in Key West, Florida. So that was very cool seeing that down there. Uh, the ones that I drove were actually software limited. And they went out, I think they only went about 30 miles an hour. And let me tell you something, 30 miles an hour and this thing feels fast, but they can go way faster than that. So there's the CEO there, Mark, in the, in the, in the video. Um, pretty cool looking devices here. Really neat little company. I like these. I like these a lot. And from Vietnam, look at this, the VinFast, the VF8. Now, this is an interesting thing that you've got a company manufacturing an electric vehicle all the way in Vietnam and exporting them to the United States. I'm not really sure of the status of, I've got to ask someone here, uh, maybe one of the representatives uh, for when they're going to be sold or are they being sold, but this is a nice looking vehicle here. I mean, it's amazing how a company can come out of the blue and bring a bring a product to the market. Now, look at this this green paint. I was talking to Drew earlier, and he was loving this. He was loving this paint. So here is the Electra Mechanica Solo, and I, tomorrow morning I'm going to be taking one of these out for a test drive. I'm going to make a whole separate video on this. I know that Kyle had actually taken one of these out a while ago and enjoyed it so much. He's like, Dad, you got to try this thing. But look at this car. Look at this thing. Three wheels. I mean, look at it. It's got a little trunk in the back. I like this. I think this is wild. You know, what's funny is that you, you go out on the street here in San Diego and they're everywhere. They're lining them up out front. Going down the road, you see nothing but these out there on the road, and they're all in red for the most part, and they look amazing. Very cool. I can't wait to drive this tomorrow. I'll report on it. Definitely going to find out as much as I can. So look for that video, folks. This wall box company is very interesting to me because, I first of all, I love this display. Very professional. And uh, But one of the things that I noticed over here was this product called the Quasar 2. And what intrigued me was the verbiage here that says, unlocking the power of bi-directional charging. Quasar 2 enables you to power your home from your EV. So I was just talking with my new friend, Brett, over here. So Brett, maybe you could just tell me a little bit about this product and, and what you're bringing here to market today. Sure, so this is the Quasar 2, and it's a DC bi-directional charger, which means you can charge your vehicle as well as disperse that, that energy to power your home in the case of a power outage, um, you can use it to peak change, you can use it to tap, uh, top off your existing battery systems. We actually won many awards at CES, both in 2020 and, and 2000, uh, and this year as well. Um, it's a great product and we're expecting a lot of exciting things in the future. Excellent. Now Quasar 2 implies there was a Quasar 1. Yes. What was that product? And tell me what is different with Quasar 2. Yep. That was a product we launched in the UK and is currently uh, ongoing. 
it's uh, at 7.4 kilowatts, so slightly lower. When we brought this product to the North American market, we needed, we realized we need to increase the kilowatt output. Um, in addition, um, it, we brought in the ability to um, uh, have an emergency switch off, uh, transfer switch, uh, for the North American market. Thanks again for uh, talking to me today. Thank you. All right. So here at the show, there's also EVLC, which is the Electric Vehicle Learning Center. It's a nonprofit, I guess, uh, science, technology, engineering, and math program, classes for San Diego's youth. And look at this car here. This is pretty wild. Beautiful. Boy, I used to love playing with my Hot Wheels when I was a kid. I had the Sizzlers. Those of you, you actually plugged those in. They were electric Hot Wheels. They were great. Look at this Thunderbird over here. Must be a conversion. We've got a 914 Porsche. Ah, uh, Porsche. Sorry. Of course. Look at this Corvette. Wow. That's not your standard typical 429 or whatever they used to put in these things. But look at that interior. That's America right there. Look at that. Beautiful. The Stingray. Classic. Oh, this Toyota truck, boy, this, this must have a lot of stories, a lot of stories to tell. And then a Mustang Mach-E, look at this. <laughs> boy, I'll tell you, if this, if this truck could speak, imagine the stories it would have, for sure. Wow, look at that. And then, wow, I don't know what this is, what is going on over here, but uh, I guess maybe this is what they, they use to teach for the EVLC, the Electric Vehicle Learning Center. I love that. I think that's great. Getting the young minds involved and thinking about the future and how to engineer and design things. And there's all kinds of, looks like a great community effort going on here. Look at this. I love what I'm seeing here. Fantastic. I do love this car in silver. Oh, I wish they offered it. It's too bad. Nice kit. F-150 Lightning. And more show. More... How much better can batteries become? Okay, right, so last but not least then, Mark. In addition to electric vehicles, uh, Fully Charged has a nice booth set up here, which is talking about home energy. Looks like they are providing advice for maybe how to, how to heat your home more efficiently or cool your home. And they've got speakers here with tables and, or actually a whole presentation. And, I mean, this is, this is really nice. I like how everything is open here at the show. It's not as if you go off in a separate room. Everything is, they've got a, a setup over here with uh, constantly, they've got speakers throughout the day right now. Can electric and water ever mix is the current topic. And then way over there, they've got another theater where they are, they've got a separate agenda going on. And then right smack in the middle of the room, we've got, We've got all kinds of stuff going on here with skateboards, motorized skateboards, bikes, there's, there's single wheelers. You, you can actually, I guess you can probably have to sign a waiver, but you, you're able to go ride them here in, inside. So this is an interactive event as well. Um, I, I think I gotta get one of these things. Look at this, I like this. I can see myself, I can see myself riding that. So Kathy, I have an idea. I think we should wrap your GV60. We made a mistake going with the Uinti white. We should have gone with the whatever yellow lime, whatever this is. I'm actually kidding. This is not for me. Not this color, but this car. You gotta love it. Performance edition, 21 inch wheels, 429 horsepower boost buttons, spikes it up to 483 horsepower. 
zero to 60, 3.86 seconds. This thing moves. An amazing machine built on the EGMP platform. I won't say anything more about this car. You all know we love it. Amazing. Just don't like the color. So here I am knocking this GV60 over here in the color. And this gentleman, what's your name, by the way? Doug. Doug, Doug walks up to me. Here it is, folks. The machine, the rig, the one that started it all. 2010 Tesla Roadster. What a, so far ahead of its time in terms of the technology and the retrofitting and putting this car out there. But this, this is the one that started it. And boy, this is a nice specimen. Apparently this is some, somebody's name, Beth owns this car. Nice job, Beth, I like it. And look at that. A little bit of the old and a little bit of the new right there. So here are the, the folks from Chargeway, which are really trying to figure out a better way to educate people as to how to charge. Fueling an electric car is now as easy as one, two, three. I know that Kyle's made a video about Chargeway. I don't really know that much about it, but uh, I would say that anything anyone can do to help people better understand how to charge their car is a good thing. I'm gonna do a little research on Chargeway and figure this out. Very interesting. It's good they're here. It's very good they're here. So here's a new startup company out of LA called Indie EV. Very cool. Uh, I was talking to these guys earlier and what they have here, this is a prototype vehicle, but under the hood, it's kind of like the, uh, you know, in the, the rear engine or the mid engine Ferraris, where you can actually see the engine in the back through glass. What they have there is a Windows based computer, very high performance Windows based computer that allows you to, I guess, do gaming inside the car on any of the screens. Uh, the concept here is, it looks like they're trying to converge a computer with a car. I, I don't, I don't really, I don't really know exactly, but this is the vehicle integrated computer, and uh, there's a lot to learn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn a little bit about this rig here, but very cool. Um, interior looks nice. Interesting. I like the white seats. The steering wheel is cool. Nice giant screen in there. Some big wheels. Good luck to you guys. Yeah, I love this lineup of cars here. Just to kind of round out the show, we've got the i3, pretty cool color over there. Uh, Polestar 2, look at that. He's even got the Polestar 2 license plate. Wow, very cool. You know, I, I just, I don't know, these stickers, I just, they, to me, I don't know why they, they make these, these cars. This is an electric car. Why do you need a sticker? You should know that it's a Polestar. You see a Prius going down the Long Island Expressway with these giant stickers on them. Not to say a Prius is a gorgeous car, but it's, you know, or you see a Tesla going down the road with these giant stickers. It's just stupid. Everyone knows it's an electric car. Look at this wrap here on the, the Model Y. Looking, looking really sweet there. And a couple of EV6s over here. We've got the, this is Ruby. 2022 Kia EV6, uh, the paint colors that that Hyundai, Kia, Genesis, you know, they really don't, they're really not fooling around. They got some cool colors in their cars. And uh, they also play around a lot with matte paint, which is a good example right here, this EV6, which is, uh, I like this color matte. I don't know, is that? Is that the same color as what I, I don't think it is. I had the shooting star matte. Mine was darker than this. I like that, that looks good, definitely. So some of you may have seen my most recent video where I was talking about the new, the new stickers on, on the Electrify America stations, but this is one of the new stations itself. You'll notice that there is only one handle on this station. Now in the picture I showed in the video, it was interesting because there were two back to back and I didn't realize, I thought there were two separate handles. But what's nice is look at the length of this 
this cable. Um, so, you know, like I mentioned, if you got a Rivian or you got a, you got a car that you need to plug in and it's far away, or if you can't get, quite get the angle for the trailer, that's a really nice design. Here is the actual new signage, the Hyper. Remember, Hyper is 350, Ultra is 150. This one says balanced. So that means that this is gonna have the load sharing, but, uh, and still the beautiful color green. So nice display here from Electrify America. And uh, I like these new units. Let's hope that they're reliable and let's hope that they go long into the future and help us out and charge our cars. Nice looking units. So what we have here is a Teslux Innovations Model 3 with some wild lights. I mean, when you look at this thing, what is going on here, folks? We've got every color in the spectrum. Uh, looks like a rocket ship in here. Obviously, this is a modification company. Customized, lowered, wild looking. Love the interior as well. But this is Teslux Innovations. Innovative lighting peripherals for the Tesla market. Futuristic inspired animated lighting sequences. So this is uh, quite interesting. You notice the, the graphic or graphite trim on the roof and the wrap, the wheels, and then inside the lighting and of course a yoke which is pretty wild. So uh, very interesting. Okay, What? Well, I don't know. That looks like something something from a spaceship to me. Look at the size of this woofer. Alright, I think we gotta take this thing out for a ride.
there's a couple of conversions over here. It's a Zelectric 912. Classic outside, electric inside. Triple the horsepower, zero maintenance. 32 kilowatt hour battery pack. You gotta love Porsches. I don't care what powers them. No, I do. I'm a purist. I've had many Porsches over the years, gas powered, but I love these projects when people get passionate about converging the old with the new. It just, it's just a lot of fun to see the different ways that people are so creative and talented with the engineering to be able to deliver something like this. I mean, it's just fantastic. Really impressive. And then we come over here and we see, look at this, it's, you know, recently Kyle just did that, the video on the VW Buzz. And look at this thing, Z Electric. Okay, this is, this is something special here. Look at this ride here. Oh man, you gotta love the color. You got the GNS, the Gordon and Smith surfboard hanging out the top there. When I was a kid, I had a GNS skateboard, tracker truck, Sims wheels. Used to love that company, Gordon and Smith. And the installation back here with the motor, fantastic. Really cool, very nice. So this lineup is pretty interesting. We've got a Scorpion, it looks like an old Cobra. Drivetrain Tesla, Model S Performance inside there. Boy, if you saw this thing pull up next to you, you probably want to hear, it's got, it's got pipes on the side. I don't know if those are fake or if this thing's a, got an engine and an EV powertrain, but what do we have here? Canoe, canoe? This is the canoe. This thing looks pretty cool. Look at this. It's hard to see inside of it. Oh, here we go. We got a window down. All right. I guess this is a concept. It's not really a concept feel. Like I got, I got to figure out a little bit more about this company. But Canoe is here at the show, showing off their wares, looking good. Now this is not something you see every day, folks. An electric dragster. Wow. I mean, all this is is a motor, some some slicks, and I don't know if I'd fit in there. I don't know if I'd want to fit in there. Look at that steering wheel. You gotta you gotta have a lot of a lot of bravery to drive this thing. I don't know how fast it is, but wow. And and right. Oh wow. I missed this. Nimbus, making your local drives faster, greener, and more fun. $9,980 to buy or $200 a month to rent it. 50 miles an hour, 75 mile an hour top speed, 93 mile range. This is an interesting little rig. Reminds me a lot of the Arkimoto. Is there a rear seat here? Yeah, a little bit of a rear seat. This seems to be a little bit more structurally closed in than the Arkimoto. Interesting, Nimbus. Got to do a little more research about this rig here and check it out. And it, here's a couple of interesting, I, I'm not really sure what what's going on here, but I, I read in the picture, it, it said that it had crashed and they fixed it, some sort of I don't know, is this the Cybertruck prototype? Is that what this is? It kind of looks like a trailer, but it's actually, how many wheels are on this thing? That's four <laughs> wheels, headlights, interesting. And then look at this over here. We've got a, we've got a delivery van that's got a 75 mile range from batteries and then an additional 50 miles a day from solar panels. Must be on the roof as well. Pretty interesting. And here's an interesting Spira for you. Safe and soft, eco-friendly. Look at this vehicle here. This is quite interesting. Looks like they've got a number of different models and perhaps that 
delivery van we just saw is part of their fleet. So there's a lot of different mobility companies showing here. Uh, for example, if you look over here, we got the Vulcan. Ah, I want one of these. That looks like a fun time. Get on that and let it rip. Oh yeah, that's a good time. Hey guys, how are you? Good, how you doing? All right, that's pretty cool. I like it. Thanks, man. Really good. How? how tell me a little bit about this unit. Yeah, so this is our Grunt. We're Vulcan. We're an e-power sports company. Our first product, the Grunt, is a dirt utility vehicle. It's an electric dirt bike. Um, about 75 miles of range with both batteries in it. 40 mile an hour top speed. 75 foot-pounds torque. It's got towing capability and it's full torque. Wow, very cool. Well, this is my first time ever seeing it. It looks like it's very well built. It looks sturdy as heck. And I encourage you all to check out Vulcan and see what other products they have. Bye, guys. All right. Here we've got a, a Zero SR6 motorcycle. I guess they don't want you riding it. They got the, got the red tape all around it right there. I'd like to drive one of these. I haven't. I, I do ride motorcycles. I used to ride a BMW 1200 GSA adventure bike. And uh, I used to love that. Really, really pretty amazing. Very cool paint job there. I think that's a paint job, not a wrap. <laughs> now look at this Model 3. Wow. Electric Vehicle Association. That is a creative wrap. Once again, not for the faint of heart. But it does make a statement. Really pretty. Nice job. So this is the car from the Electric Vehicle Association. Charge into the future. Wow. Out of Scottsdale, Arizona. First lucid sighting in the wild ever for out of spec Dave. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. So I would say it's a wrap here from the San Diego Fully Charged Show. I had a great time today. Hopefully you got a good glimpse as to what it was that we saw here today in San Diego. I'm glad I came out. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be driving one of these solos and I'll put a separate video up for that. But um, you know, in the meantime, I don't know where Kyle went. I don't know where Drew went, but I've got a credit card. I've got a whole city to myself. I'm gonna have some fun. So. <laughs> Anyway, thanks again for watching another episode of Out of Spec Dave, and you have a great night. Take care now. Bye-bye.